Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will update the data in Firebase real-time database. I have already created the data and read the data in my previous video. You can click on the i button to watch. Now in this video, we will simply update the data in the database. So open the project. Let me give you a quick overview. So I assume you are aware that this project is a client admin module where read data was performed in client side while create data was in admin side and also update and delete will be in admin side. At this point, we are able to store the data and retrieve the data. Now we will update the existing data in admin side. So let's create it. Make sure you watch the part 1 and part 2 of CRUD series where I have added required attributes such as view binding, colors and themes. Now, the only thing in prerequisite is to add background. So let me quickly copy paste it. And done. Now of course, as we are creating update feature, we will require an update activity. So let me quickly create it. And then, now close all the tabs. So in activity main, we will have three buttons that is upload, update and delete. Out of which I have already created upload button, right? And now I'll be creating update button. So go to activity main.xml. See, we already have a upload button. So over here, let me quickly create update button as well. And then, see, as I wanted two buttons beside each other, Hence, I have created it in a horizontal linear layout. This is our update button whose ID is main update. And in the next video, we will create delete button over here. Then go to activityupdate.xml. Here we will create four edit text which will take four data parameters. So let me quickly create it. And done. See, first edit text, I have given the ID as reference vehicle number. The next edit text whose ID is update owner name. Then again, next edit text whose ID is update vehicle brand. And then last edit text whose ID is update vehicle RTO. Then lastly, a button whose ID is update button. And that's it. Easy, right? Now listen to me carefully. We have four data parameters, right? Vehicle owner. Vehicle number, owner name, vehicle brand, and vehicle RTO. So we have created edit text for all of them where we will take the new text and update them accordingly in the database, right? But now there is an exception that vehicle number will only be used as a reference, not for the update purpose. Why? Because, see, the database has a child value as the vehicle number. And if somebody updates the vehicle number, then an entire new data will be created, which will create a lot of confusion in the database, right? So to avoid such situations, user can update owner name, vehicle brand and vehicle RTO only. Now you might be thinking if vehicle number is not meant to be updated, then why are we taking that from user? Because obviously, as I said for reference, basically the other three parameters will be updated based on their vehicle number. So for that, we will require vehicle number. Got it? Now go to main activity. So we have created update button in activity main, right? Basically to go from main activity to upload activity, right? So for that, first I'll set on click listener on main update button. And inside it, I'll create an intent that will redirect the user from main activity to update activity. Then start the activity. And finish. That's it. Now come to update activity. Here first, let me quickly set up binding.
and done. Then next I'll set up database reference. And done. We will use it for to refer the database. Now we will create an update data function outside the onCreate. So let me quickly write the code. And done. Now see, we have our four data parameters. Vehicle number, owner name, vehicle brand, and vehicle RTO. All of them are string. Then next, as we have already declared database reference at top right, so over here I have initialized it as Firebase database dot get instance dot get reference. And as I said previously, to refer the database, we will use the existing database name that is vehicle information. As I always say, please make sure that you write the correct database name. Then we will use map of method. So map of method basically returns the specific data which we mention in the key and value format or syntax. Like first one is key and second one is value. Both of them are string. Now over here key is owner name that is basically like our column name from the database and this is our value which we'll update. Basically, it sounds like old owner name to this new owner name. Likewise, for other parameters as well. Vehicle brand to update it, vehicle brand and so on. Also, make sure that you use the correct attribute name as well as the correct spelling. To be 100% sure, you can check in the database itself or maybe go to data class where you will find the correct data parameters. Then all of this thing will be stored in vehicle data variable. Okay? Now we need to locate the path and accordingly update the data or children. So to do that, first we have database reference. That is basically our database name, vehicle information. Then inside it, we have a child as vehicle number, right? So our vehicle number will be considered as a reference to update the children's present inside the vehicle data, such as 
owner name vehicle brand and vehicle rto so we have used update children method to update the vehicle data now we have used two methods first is add on success listener and second one is add on failure listener it's like if the data is successfully updated then the below actions will be performed else it will throw a toast as unable to update now in add on success listener we have cleared all the edit text using clear method to make it easy for the user basically and then we have throw a toast as updated and that's it now come back inside on create method here we'll set on click listener on update button and inside it i will call the update data function simple right so to do that first i will write binding dot update button dot set on click listener then inside it i'll take the inputs from the user for all the four edit text and done see now we have a reference vehicle number update owner name update vehicle brand and update vehicle rto from the user then i will call update data method and then i'll pass all the arguments inside it and done that's it we are done with the coding now let's run the app make sure you choose the admin module then wait and this is how it looks now i will click on update button we already have a data stored in the database see so i need to change vehicle brand from maruti suzuki to maybe tata motors so for that first i will write the vehicle number for the reference purpose then i'll keep the owner name as it is then vehicle brand as tata motors and then lastly keeping vehicle rto also as it is and then now i'll click on update button and see the data is successfully updated as you can see vehicle brand is now tata motors instead of maruti suzuki this way you can easily update any data but remember not the child value okay so make sure that you watch the next video where i will delete the data also for more updates you can follow us on instagram or join our telegram group for background images link in the description box so yeah that is it for the video if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next video